Ready? I almost cried. Why am I moving to New Hampshire? I really gotta pee. It is 4 a.m. I am here with the goldfish for the last time. It's very dark. I'm saying my final goodbyes. I'm not gonna see these guys again for probably three weeks. Okay, I've been on the road for 15 minutes. The GPS is telling me I gotta be on the road for at least 15 more hours, possibly. So this is basically my final move out of my home. I will be back there to get my fish, but my plan is to basically drive up to New Hampshire now, spend about three weeks there. My family's gonna take care of my fish. I'm just gonna be preparing the new house for the fish to arrive. There's a lot of stuff I gotta do while I'm there. Okay, it's 5.40 a.m. I'm at my first rest stop here. The car is only half empty, but I kind of have to pee. I spent my first $30 on gasoline. There's gonna be a lot more of that. I'm also gonna take some pre-workout because I am getting a little tired. I wanna go back to bed. We are taking, I don't even know what this is, Focus. It's this old cherry limeade. Each scoop is like 100 milligrams of caffeine. So that's like equivalent of a cup of coffee. You might be asking, Luke, why aren't you drinking actual coffee? Wow. <coughs> oh, the powder. The reason I'm not drinking actual coffee is because I'm absolutely going to have to run to the bathroom, you know, do a number two if I drink some real coffee. And I don't have the time for that right now. That's delicious. Honestly, I'm double scooping it. Second scoop. <laughs> the powder. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I just passed the time zone, um, so it's actually 8.30 a.m. now, but I've been driving for three and a half hours. Pre-workout really helped. That pre-workout really helped. I'm not tired, I'm energetic. The GPS says I got about 11 and a half hours left. I actually, I kinda gotta pee. This is gonna be my second pee of the trip. So a lot of folks have been asking me, why am I moving to New Hampshire? Well, I got a couple reasons, and I'll explain them right now while I'm driving. For one, my brother, sister-in-law, and niece live there, so it'll be nice to live very close to them. And my other brother lives in New Jersey, which is only like, you know a couple hour drive away, so I'll be, I'll be close to some family, and I actually have a lot of friends out there. Two, I need property. I need a, I need a large piece of property if I wanna to continue to grow my goldfish business, you know? There's only so much I could do in my parents' backyard in a 10 by 13 foot greenhouse. Um, so I knew like, I need to buy property. I need to buy, you know, a place that I can expand and grow my business on. I also have a limited budget. So that can't be, you know, a nice beautiful property in Southern Florida where, you know, it's gonna cost me a million dollars. Also same for Illinois, a large piece of property in Northern Illinois, you know, near, near where my family is, that's also gonna be pretty expensive. New Hampshire is pretty close to Boston. Like the part I'm in is only around 40 minutes away from Boston. Getting a four acre property, it's not that expensive. Um, like it's not, not as expensive as most other places that would only be a 30 to 40 minute drive from a major city. Three, there's no state income tax. Boom, extra money, more goldfish, more, I can invest more into my systems. No sales tax, boom, extra money, can invest more into myself and into my systems. There's also it's a lot of water on this property. There's not gonna be a problem of droughts. There's like four different wells I can tap into. Only one is currently tapped into, but there's three other ones that are there. And there's a massive lake on this property. There's like a bunch of creeks on this property. There's a ton of fresh water 
available for me to tap into on this property. And also, this property used to be a fishery and hatchery um, a little over 30 years ago. And so it has proof of concept. There used to be someone that lived on this property that had his own fish breeding and hatchery business. And now 30 years later, I'm coming along and I'm gonna start that back up again uh, with ornamental goldfish. It was a match perfectly made and this will be this will be just the perfect piece of land to start my business on okay it is 8 45 a.m i just got to a gas station i really gotta pee guys look how clean and nice this bathroom is what a joy i'm in ohio this is what you expect in an ohio gas station bathroom <laughs> This is gonna be scoop number three. I might spill a little bit of it while I'm trying to get it in here. Scoop number, <coughs> you see this powder? <laughs> Let's get back on the road. My mom packed me a whole bag full of veggies. She said, Luke, don't forget to eat your veggies. She literally packed, look at this. You know, they're low in calorie, high in fiber, good for you. Okay, I'm at one of these little rest stops here. I have to pee again for the third time. So I'm gonna go pee and I'm also getting a little bit hungry. I ended up getting Panera and, and hold on, I did end up getting a cold brew coffee, but this is kind of weird about me. Cold coffees don't really make me have to use the bathroom. It's only the warm coffees that do that. They have to maybe go to the bathroom like a little bit, like they have a little bit of that effect, but it's really the warm coffee for some reason that like really makes me have to go to the bathroom. But the cold coffee, not, not that much. I'm like, you know what? I really want a cold brew. And especially when the sun is shining on you and it's like warm, I get very tired. And I'm trying to do this in one day. So I'm like, caffeine, I'll take one day of an overdose of caffeine, whatever, I'll be fine. This is fourth dose of caffeine for today, and we're only at like, it's only 10.30 a.m. And I got a turkey BLT sandwich. That looks pretty good. If you guys can see but yeah you guys see the city behind me so yeah that's cleveland ohio i got about nine hours and 20 minutes left i'm speeding a little bit just a little bit i am now in pennsylvania i'm only in pennsylvania for a small part of this trip i'm gonna go use the bathroom again I'm now in the state of New York. The last time I was driving in the state of New York, I got caught going 105 miles an hour in like a 75 or something, and they wrote me up some bad tickets. So I am not, I'm not gonna go above 80. I am not going above 80 miles an hour. That is my upper limit here. I'm about at the halfway point, a little past the halfway point, so that's nice. Okay, I'm in the middle of New York. I got six hours left. I think I might take one more scoop of the pre-workout just to give me a little final boost. The thing is like, I don't normally need this much caffeine to function. Um, normally I just have one, two cups of coffee a day, but I know I get tired when I drive. Something about driving rocks me and gets me comfortable and makes me want to sleep. So I'm doing everything I can to prevent that because I really don't, I'll die. If I fall asleep, I'll probably die. Okay, I'm driving, so it's a little difficult to pour it into my bottle, so I'm dry scooping this one, all right? Ready? I almost cried. <laughs> oh, I forgot, I also had a Diet Coke. The caffeine consumption's probably nearing 600, a little over 600 milligrams for the day. gas tank is full and my bladder has been emptied we're a little over five hours out 
Let's get back on the road. While I was at the gas station, I got one of these Oreo cow tails. This tastes like a, like a Tootsie Roll and a Pop-Tart had a baby with an Oreo. I also got some Takis, these blue Takis at the gas station. These are really good. I'm still in New York, I've been in New York forever. I got four and a half hours left. And let me be honest, the fatigue is hitting. I told you guys, I get like really tired in cars. Okay, another scoop. Choking on it woke me up a little bit. It is 6.30 p.m. I'm only two and a half hours away. I got some chocolate milk. I was craving some chocolate milk. I got some protein shake because my diet today has been a little lacking in the protein. And I got another bottle of water. Lots of liquids. I just peed now. My tank is empty. So is my car's tank. So I'm actually about to go fill it up. Okay. I am on the road again. I'm on this road now for 112 miles. And then I think I should be almost there. It says that I have two and a half hours left. This is a five out of 10 chocolate milk. There is one and a half hours left. 90 minutes, one and a half hours, and then we're there. I'm tired. I'm five minutes away. I'm five minutes away. Okay guys, I have officially made it. We are here. Ay ay ay. There are some potholes on this property that I gotta fix. I gotta fill in those potholes. It is snowing. Eventually, one of these days, I wanna get this little driveway, this big driveway paved. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Here we are at the soon to be new Luke's Goldie's headquarters. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. 16 hours later, I'm here at my house. The move is complete. Now I'm joking, there's, everything's still in the car. I, I don't know if I'm gonna bring it out today. I, don't, I got a lot of work to do. I am now in the unfinished basement. This is where I will begin the new goldfish operation. As you can see, there's a lot of work to do in here to get this there's a lot of work to do in here to get this fully ready for my fish. I'm here. I'm gonna get to work over these next couple weeks. And hopefully by then, this place will be ready to accept my fish and I'm gonna feel comfortable bringing my fish here, having them in this water and everything. Then I'll just continue on from there. But I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated every step of the way. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad I did not die. I made it. I made it and I'm alive. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our merch. Luke Scoldies, out.